Hi Cancers, welcome to Queen Cup Tarot. I'm just shuffling here, getting ready to do your July 2018 love reading. Um, I am new to YouTube, um, not new to tarot. Um, I just created this channel here. Um, I've been doing tarot um, personally, in my personal network of friends and family, but I decided to kind of expand um, my network and uh, and um, you know start doing readings and stuff. So please like, share, subscribe. Also, give me your feedback, your comments. Um, let me know how and if the reading resonates with you, if I communicated it into a way that makes sense with, to you. Sometimes my readings can be a bit all over the place because I'm getting multiple messages, trying to decipher them in a way that is clear and concise as possible. So um, any feedback you can provide is awesome. Um, I am going to leave my email address in the description box. Um, I do do personal readings and I do not charge. Um, so if you reach out to me wanting a personal reading, maybe one of my readings resonate with you and you have some questions or just need some support and somebody to talk to, definitely don't hesitate to email me directly and um, we will figure out a way best to do the reading for you and get you the support you need, okay? Um, I do smoke pot. I hope that doesn't offend anyone. Um, and uh, you know, I'm going to do what I can for you, but I'm going to do it while I'm smoking a joint, so I hope that's okay. Um, feel free for all my green friendly folks to um, smoke friendly with me. If not, no worries at all. Um, the point of this is to give you some clarity, um, you know, information on any new love opportunities that spirit wants to kind of, you know, um, warn you about or give you information on maybe some trial and tribulations within a relationship, um, uh, whether the love of the relationship is with yourself or somebody else, um, that you might need some direction or some clarification on. So that's what I'm going to pull for and ask spirit for guidance with. Okay, Let's shuffle a few more times here. I'm going to do a general um, reading uh, end of June, um, beginning of July, um, but I did feel like the love reading would be a little bit more um, valuable earlier, um, so that it's a little bit more something that you can refer to while you're going through it. I um, wanted to get it to you a little earlier because I think a lot of what you're going through in July is really going to have been initiated in June, maybe late May. Um, okay, so I'm going to pull three cards, three cards that are going to reflect the energy that you left June and went into the month of July with. Um, three cards for the energy that dominate the month and then three cards for the energy you're going to leave the month and enter into August with, okay? I have a clarifying deck here. All the clarifying deck cards are upright. Um, so you will see, or possibly will see, um, reversals in the primary spread, but then any of my clarifications will be an upright, upright, okay? All right. Um, to, to start it off, four of cups in reverse, what's going on, Cancers? What's going on? Wow. Okay, Cancers. Maybe a long reading, so bear with me here. I, I'm getting a lot of messages. I'm getting a lot of energies from this. Um, you know, I feel like some people, um, I feel like some of you Cancers are leaving the month of July um, feeling overall good. Um, I think you might have gotten an offer from someone, um, possibly somebody new. And if it is somebody new, I do want you to be careful of a third party relationship. Now, if it is an existing relationship, there still could be the potential for third party. But I really do believe that um, this person is going to come to you um, and it will be divine timing was at play, but I do think this person is going to come and bring something to you that is going to bring you some um, overall joy and happiness. 
Um, it could be news uh, for, for my men that are watching. It could be, um, you know, news from your spouse that she's pregnant and that she's going to have a kid. Because I do see some divinity here, some divine energy. This card here um, in other decks, it's the, the sword is actually held out by a hand by God. Uh, meaning that the information, the knowledge, or the opportunity, new beginning that's being given to you is divine. Also, the timing um, surrounding any of those things is also divine. So if you're feeling impatient, waiting for it, it's divine, let it come. If it did come and you were wondering why it came the way it did, or maybe you're kind of already thinking like, oh my God, it's so crazy how you know this all played out, or when this message came to me, or this news came to me, the timing. Um, was was unique and divine um for some of you though i feel like unfortunately some of you got news that there is a third party relationship and this is firm hard news and you were meant to find out when you found out um and i think this person came this this information was very practical it was very tangible and it didn't leave a lot of room for you to debate it um, I think this third party situation causes then a lot of conflict. Um, but I do see that there is a possibility that you don't actually communicate it and that you just sit in your heartbreak, which is very typical of cancers. Um, some cancers though, uh, for my cancers that are super fiery and confrontational, um, that also could be indicative of this Knight of Cups in reverse is that you're actually going to be not the um, giving an offer of emotional love. You're actually going to be giving an emotional um, uh, message of emotional disdain because you've been heartbroken by the kind of conflict, betrayal that has taken place. How this person has made you feel within the conflict and their behavior towards you has you either communicating to them in an emotional way, so either passive aggressively or, you know, you decide, oh, I'm going to ignore your calls or I'm going to stop having sex with you or whatever the case is and you're doing that, that passive aggression is all due to the fact that you're heartbroken. So I do see that you do find out information about this third party and it does leave you heartbroken. Um... And I do see that being the energy that you come into the month of June with. So this heartbreak, I'm not sure of when it happened. Could have been a few months ago. Could have been in June. Could have been up as far as a year ago. But... <coughs> This person does come back because I do see um, a period of time of not communicating because I think your passive aggressive behavior goes over a period of days or weeks because you're heartbroken. And whatever stability you were providing to this person, you will stop. You've decided, you know what, I'm not going to be this stable person for you in your life. Okay, because you hurt me. Because I found out about your third party situation. This could be a soulmate. So this could be somebody that you break up and make up with and you've done this over the course of a long period of time with. There is a very big possibility of that. But I think what is common for a lot of cancers, um, you cancers might be seeing videos that are very about exes coming back. I, I shuffled the cards in front of your face. The Six of Cups came up. Okay, this is a past life card, past relationship card. It's also a soulmate card. But as soon as this person comes back, the death happens. Some of you are going to be walking away from this relationship because you've had enough and I think the desire to walk away is more due to a personal need to be reborn. This effect, this um, cycle, this heartbreak, this betrayal 
this clear information that was undeniable. It came to you. There's no doubt in your mind of whether the information you got is right. And you took that time and you really felt the heartbreak. And it, there was a fight. You confronted this person and decided, okay, I'm going to stop talking to you because that's what I see for a lot of you. But that has taken a toll on you, a lot of you. Some of you created this third party relationship. And this six of cups is indicative of a reoccurring energy from your past that you keep dabbling with. Some of you are bringing this third party in this third party situation and the truth comes out. The truth is delivered to your partner on a beautiful brown horse. And it causes a fight, a confrontation. It causes that person to stop offering you their love because they're heartbroken or that stopping of offering of love then causes you heartbreak, the same heartbreak you caused them. It then stops them from offering you their support. So if they were this to you because of the situation you created, it's now this and they're now not being stable and they're not providing you what it is you need. And you go back because karmically, this is what you're instinctually driven to do because this is a past love, past energy you're chasing. But that person then decides, I've had enough. I need to release myself from this. I need to dead this because I need to reborn myself and create a new ego for myself because the situation is completely broken down. So this either could be you or this could be indicative of how you made somebody feel or how you treated somebody in a relationship and the inevitability of that. So I do see a clear story here, but I am going to pull some clarifiers. Now the clarifiers might either clarify the story I do have here or it might create um, a new dialogue. Okay. Let's please clarify the overall energy and the actions, the overall energy. Let's please clarify. And what are the actions that cancer is counseled to take going into the month of August? Please clarify. Along with this death card. Wow. 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 Okay. Cancers, it's clear. All right. The overall energy clarifier to the Four of Cups in reverse is this King of Swords. This King of Swords, you or your partner, whatever, is so displeased that they're taking a very authoritative approach about this. Somebody, because of this information, has decided to say, we're done here. This is the lawyer. This is the judge of the, 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 the tarot deck. He does not fuck around with the truth. The truth leads him. Practicality, pragmatism, pragmaticism, whatever, however you say it, that's what leads him. The truth. The pursuit of the truth. It's not fucking around, okay? And then when I clarified the death card and the energy, the action taken going into August... Spirits say that it's time for you to be strong and to be and to and to rebuild. Look forward. You need to be a little farsighted right now because when you do, do go through this inevitable death, it might near sight you. Spirits counsel you to rebuild. That's the action you need to take in August. Rebuild yourself. Maybe you might even need to rebuild your home a little bit. I don't know how much this person is a part of your current life. But it's time for you to be rebuild and look to the horizon. Because you already made the decision in the Two of Pentacles. Now with the Three of Pentacles, it's to look forward. This decision has been made and it's now time for you to trek on. Build. Build. 
and be strong because you're dealing with a toxic relationship. You're also dealing with a karmic tie, which was also indicative of the Six of Cups. So there's some gloom. But Cancers, this has been a long time coming for you. And this energy is more so for my Cancers that haven't been single. Because for my Cancers that have been single, especially for a long period of time, things, this is not the reading for you. I'm sorry. Maybe I will do a separate singles reading just because this was very couples based. And I really do see this speaking to the Cancer who has been in a karmic cycle with someone. Now, for the Cancers who have been single, how this reading may apply is, is that somebody from the way back past is coming back. And this is something, somebody who you've had a karmic tie with for quite some time. It's a negative relationship. It could even be a codependency. But they go and they come back, they go and they come back. And they've been gone for a while, but they are, the cards are saying they're going to come back. There's going to be some conflict. You're going to address them with the truth about what they have or didn't do and said they did the lies from when you last were interacting. And you address that. And this person might still then come with an offer, a tangible offer, more than just the truth, but an offer of some kind of love towards you, but the conflict, you, you're not buying it because I don't think that you care about the truth at this point because of how much time has passed. I think you're not getting past the actual facts of what it is you heard. Now, the truth is a funny thing. Everybody wants the truth, but what the reason why people don't give it to us is because once we get the truth, we might still not want to fuck with you. Thank you so much for the honesty. Thank you so much for telling me the truth. But now with the information that I'm so grateful you gave me, I'm now deciding that you can fuck off. Right? And I see that happening here. I see you saying, okay, I'm happy you finally came with the, the, the honest truth. The truth I think you honestly already knew before because you went into the month feeling very dissatisfied about this relationship. And I think it was because you were waiting. And then you finally did get the information that you kind of already knew along because cancers are extremely intuitive, okay? You're still like, you know what? You don't fuck off. That's what I see. So be strong, Cancers. I need you guys to really go into the month of August being strong, especially if this breakup happens. Because the rebuild process is going to be beautiful for you. You got to let this go, though. And this... I saw coming in the reading, I wasn't surprised that it came up because the Six of Cups came up and with the heartbreak that you've been feeling and the potential for a third party relationship and my King of Pentacles not in its upright, like he should be being dependable and, and you know, offering tangible shit. So I wasn't surprised when the devil came up. Okay. So... This doesn't apply to all of you. I don't want my, I don't want, there's certain cancers that are going to be watching this. I don't want you to feel doom and gloom because there is a big chunk of you that are reaping good karma. There's a lot of you that are closing karmic ties. The reading that this, the, this resonate, the people that resonate, this re reading resonates. This is a metamorphous time. This is divine. This was meant to happen. Whatever karmic lesson you're learning here. You might have been sent back two lifetimes back here to learn this karmic lesson. But I really do see this happening because if it was in the reverse, I would be like, mm, well, we might be here in August, July next year. Who knows? But it is happening. You decide that you want a rebirth. You want to dead this. Listen, Cancers, this was a tough reading. 
especially for you guys, considering how how much you guys have gone through. Um, but I do want you to be optimistic. Reach out to me. Please leave your comments, feedback. Um, you know, if if this did resonate with you and you are struggling um, with a karmic tie and you need a you know a personal reading or a more in depth look at that, definitely reach out to me. Send me an email and I'll do what I can to get back in touch with you and provide you with that. Okay. Um, most importantly, happy birthday, Cancers. You know, you guys are the lovers of the zodiac, and you guys spend a lot of time loving people, um, supporting people, using your intuition to help them. And I really want, even if this resonates with you and this is going down, I want you to take time to enjoy and be happy because the tide is turning. Uranus has been in your sign for a very long time. It's because it's meant to be in your relationship sector to drive the lessons home. These karmic cycles, it's time to wrap them up. It's time to move to where you deserve to be. And it looks like July is where this gets wrapped up. So happy birthday to you guys. I love you guys. Um, reach out to me if you need me, but I'll definitely do your general reading uh, end of June, early July. Okay, so till then, I love you. Happy birthday.